Okay, we're going on a trip and I have to fit six suitcases inside the back of the trunk of my car. So thank you for stopping by and welcome to the channel. So we're going to be heading towards the airport. Oh, so some of you might be thinking, why didn't you call airport limousine or just take a cab? And here's the reason why not. So for the four of us, I have eight pieces of luggage to take. So I did phone some limousine services and the Lincoln Town Car, they'd only let three people on and three pieces of luggage. Some would be four, but then only four pieces of luggage. And if I was to rent a SUV limo, you only allow five pieces of luggage. So anything over their limit, they'd charge you $10 per piece of luggage over. Some of the taxi cabs we called, they couldn't guarantee us a van. And one place told us to rent two taxis. So that's why I'm ending up using my car. So I have four check bags and four carry-on bags. So I have three 26 inch suitcases and one 30 inch suitcase. So that's a 30 inch suitcase. And four carry-ons are 22 inch or less. So we'll be flying Air Canada and their carry-on luggage is 21 and a half inches. So that'll be another story. And the international standard for carry-on is 22 inches. So I don't know why your beep is 21 and a half. And I haven't flown for 36 years now, so this will be interesting. I put all my camera gear in the Peter McKinnon camera bag. Okay, let's go to the car and try loading it in. So the key of getting the six piece of luggage in here is getting the first piece in. This is a 30 inch size luggage or bag with the wheels. But the key is, see that lip there? If you put it in vertically, this way, can't fit two pieces of luggage side by side with the wheels. Because <sighs> how, it, how it's notched it. But if you turn it sideways, the whole piece fits in there. And then you could put the other one on top. It just barely fits. That's the key of getting six pieces of luggage in here. And the other pieces are carry-on luggage, so they're only 21 inches. So you put the other 26 inch luggage on top of the 30 inch, then you lay the two 26 inch side by side in front of the 30 inch luggage. Then you lay the two carry-on 22 inch luggage in front of the 26 or directly on top of the two 26 inch pieces of luggage. So that leaves my two nomadic carry-on bags last so they'll have to go in the back seat. So that means my brother has to come and drive my car back home. Well, hopefully they won't make me check in my camera bag. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like, share, leave a comment and see you in three weeks.